Al-Azhar. Gentlelady from Florida is recognized for four minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and thank you, Ranking Member Green. I rise in support of Resolution 1064, the Renacer Act. I'm proud to have introduced this bill with Congressman Albio Cides, Senator Bob Menendez, and Senator Marco Rubio. For years, dictator Daniel Ortega has been quietly dismantling democracy in Nicaragua. First, he ripped the Constitution apart to get reelected. Then he seized control of every branch of government, of the military, of the police. Ortega wants to rule the country from an iron throne, and the Nicaraguan people are suffering as a result. Ortega has banned political parties, and he has killed hundreds of Nicaraguans and jailed hundreds more. Now we're on the eve of one of his most brazen moves in nearly 35 years of terrorizing this country. A sham election where all seven presidential candidates were arrested in broad daylight, one of them being my ex-husband, Arturo Cruz. This is his most flagrant example of a stolen election as we have ever seen, and the world needs to know that. His brutal regime must be held accountable for its crimes against humanity, for its systematic attack on democracy. And that is why Congress must pass the Renacer Act now. Renacer increases sanctions on Ortega and on Ortega's chief co-conspirator and vice president, his wife, Rosario Murillo, and on the Nicaraguan security forces that brutalize their people. It brings the international community together to take down Ortega's safe havens around the world, and it exposes the Russian meddling in that country. The Renacer Act sends a clear message to Ortega and to Murillo that your time is up. I'm also pleased that the provision from my Nicaragua Trade Free Trade Review Act were included in this critical legislation. This will trigger a review of Nicaragua's participation in the Central American Free Trade Agreement, CAFTA. The CAFTA-DR trade agreement gives Nicaragua open access to United States markets, but the trade with the United States is a privilege, is not a right. And I am here to tell Ortega and Murillo you murderous dictators, you treacherous thugs, you will no longer have a free pass to enrich yourself. Now tyrants around the world are watching. Passing Renaissance shows the consequences of jailing your political opponents, of oppressing your people, and of stealing elections. I urge my colleagues to stand with those who have been beaten and detained. I urge my colleagues to stand with the Nicaraguan people and I urge my colleagues to take a stand against tyranny. The United States has long been, has long been the torch bearer for democracy around the world. We must continue to carry that torch. So I urge my colleagues to support the Renaissance Act. And I yield back. Gentlelady yields back. Gentleman from Tennessee Reserves. Gentleman from Florida. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I have uh, no further requests for time, so I'm prepared to close. Gentleman from Tennessee. Mr. Mr. Speaker, uh, in, in closing, um, I would uh, once again like to thank my good friends, Mr. Dorch, Mr. Ceres, and Ms. Salazar for leading this measure. I'm proud to join my colleagues in this effort, and I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back. Gentleman from Florida. Uh, thank you, Mr.